Okay, so the immune system continued. Well, stage one of the immune system or the immune response was the phagocytosis. So we've just gone through that and this follows on directly after phagocytosis. So that's stage one. And we'll remember the end of phagocytosis, they present the antigens of the pathogen on its surface. Stage two, we've got T cells. T cells also known as T lymphocytes. They're types of white blood cells. They accept T cells in the mark scheme. So let's keep things simple. We'll call it T cells. What do we need to know about them? Well, they are, they're activated by the antigens presented by the phagocyte. So these guys actually don't react to the antigen on the pathogen itself. They only react, they only activated by the ones presented by the antigen presenting cell or the phagocyte. There's actually two types of T cell. I'll do number one, number two. Okay, so the first type we're gonna call TH cells. Yeah, so these are T helper cells. What do they do? Well, they, they activate, they switch on other parts of the immune response. So they activate B cells and they also activate TC cells, which are the other type we're gonna look at. And also phagocytes and other bits and pieces, but they, they switch on more of the immune response. And then obviously we've got our TC cells. Now these are called cytotoxic. And what do these do? Well, these are cellular response. They kill foreign pathogens. They kill pathogens, which is the cellular response. That's basically it for our, we don't need to know how they kill them. We just need to know that these are the cellular response and they kill the pathogens directly. Next step, we have B cells. We can also call these B lymphocytes, just so that you know also um, white blood cells. I'm not sure we've defined antibodies yet. Um, I know that we're gonna do antigens in a moment, but let me take the opportunity. Antibodies. Well, they're proteins. Remember EATS, they are the A of EATS. They're proteins, they have a specific shape, but all proteins have a specific shape. Proteins that bind to antigens to kill pathogens. That will do for my basic definition of an antibody. Okay, the thing to remember here where most people find this complicated is this stage. It's, we're gonna summarize it as clonal selection. But before I give you the definition of that, I want to, to lay this out. So there are many types of B cell, right? Each have their own specific antibody. And so they're each B cell has their own antibody and only one of these antibodies because they're a protein with a specific tertiary shape and they're only going to form a complex with one thing. Each antibody is going to be specific to the antigen. So they're only going to form an antigen antibody complex with one of them. So, but how do we know which B cell we need? Well, we can say the B cell with the complementary antibody forms, and we're going to, this is going to be a key term, an antigen antibody complex. So this activates, or we could say selects the right B cell. And so this selection process is only the one that is complementary, that forms the antigen antibody complex with the the pathogen's antigen is going to be selected. And what happens when it's selected? Selected B cell divides, or we could say clones itself to make many copies. And these copies are called plasma cells. Oh, that definitely should be in red. I don't like underlining things like that, but I forgot if that should be in red. Okay, so what is clonal selection? Clonal selection is the selection of the correct or the B cell with the complementary antibody and then it cloning itself. Clonal selection. You can say only the B cell that forms an antigen antibody complex is selected to divide into plasma cells.
Okay, so that's my definition of clonal selection. And then the last stage, stage four, is plasma cells. These don't really have any extra name. What well, I am just going to add to this, both of these guys are making antibodies. Any immune response involving antibodies is humoral response. This comes up very rarely, but it is a constant source of confusion. So what do the plasma cells do? Well, let's define plasma cells. They are clones of B cells of the selected B cell, selected B cell with complementary antibody to the pathogens antigen. Lots of confusing terminology here. Just be nice and clear, get it clear in your head which one's which. And what do we need to know about them? Well, they make monoclonal antibodies. That's another key term. Monoclonal just means one type of clone. So all of the plasma cells, which are going to be a certain type of B cell, are going to reproduce and they are going to be identical to one another. So what do they do? These will form an antigen antibody complex with the antigen, with the, well, let's say, with, yeah, with the antigen. Lots of repetitions here, but it's quite important. This, basically, what can this do? How does this help us get better? Well, it will stick pathogens together. And this process of sticking pathogens together is a key term, and it's called agglutination. So like a glue sticking things together, agglutination. So shun is a process, the process of sticking things together. I'll draw a little diagram for that. And then basically, that once you've got a big group of them together, phagocytes can destroy many pathogens at once. So it's more efficient. Once the infection is over, then some of them are saved. When the infection is over, plasma cells are saved as memory cells because you might well meet this pathogen again. Memory B cells. So a little, little diagram of agglutination. Well, we had our two pathogens with the antigens on the surface. Let me draw my... We had a little variable region, remember, on the end of our... In fact, we haven't come across these yet. I've actually recorded the videos out of sequence, but when you see my detailed drawing of an antibody, they look a little bit like that. So these two get stuck together, and you basically build up a group, and then what can happen? Well, I suppose we can have our Pac-Man phagocyte, with our nucleus and our lysosomes in there, ready to break down these guys once they've been engulfed. So there's a little label, phagocyte. This is pathogen, and it's an antibody. And the antigen-antibody complex is just in here, where they're bonded together.